Good morning. Happy Sunday. Somebody's got to be excited with me, right? <laughs> Let me tell you one thing, one thing. At the end of the day, Doug, God is good. Say it again. All the time. That's right. All the time. He makes all things work for our good. Right? So if that's all you know today, you just got a great message. So y'all stand with us. Let's sing. I 
time to get it. A lot of people think, hey, I get saved, I got saved, so I just float through life, taking it as it comes, and just going right on, but that's not your purpose. Your purpose is to enjoy life. Not every situation in it will you enjoy, but you're alive, and you got Savior, the creator of the whole world on your side, and what's not to enjoy about that? Don't miss it. Few announcements to make. Life group, Wednesday at six in the back. Elevation, Wednesday at six in the back. Back. At the fellowship hall where they're going through yard sale stuff, getting ready for the big day. And if there's anyone here that's out of town and wants to go back, Nikki said she would be back there for about 30 minutes after church so you can go back and look through it. Because I know if you live in Ringgold or Summerville, it might be a long way to drive for a yard sale, but I'm glad you drive it for church because you're blessed because of it. Uh, Fall Festival, September the 28th. And we've got the raffle tickets for the Yeti. That's a $400 Yeti cooler. And you could get one for $5. But somebody will get one for $5. And the youth group will be blessed by the proceeds off of it. So don't miss getting your ticket. Nikki told me I could not win. Because that wouldn't look good. <laughs> but I sure would like to have that cooler. <laughs> but I think that covers the announcements. And today we're going to show something I didn't, I don't think anybody would thought they'd ever saw in church a Winnie the Pooh movie. But it's really good. It's got some really good points in it. Listen to what, and, and it hit me right between the eyes. It didn't stomp my feet, it hit me right between the eyes. And I'll talk more about that at the end of it. But listen to the points they make, it's really good. And I know it fits most of us, if not all of us. So be ready to get something out of this. And now we're going to continue our worship service by our giving. So let's pray. Father God, I thank you for today, and I thank you for each one you've brought in here. I ask you to open the eyes and ears of our spirit. They will hear what you're saying to us. And that we'll, we will ask you to guide our steps that we can be what you created us to be. And I just ask now for your blessing to be upon each one here. And I ask your blessings be on the ones that give and the ones that can't, that they will be able to. And we just give you all the praise for everything in Jesus' name. Amen.
What day is it? It's the day the Lord has made. And I, I want to apologize to my family because for years I worked to make a living, thought I had to do it, and that was the most important thing. And it is important. You need to make a living for your <clears throat> family. You need to have a roof over their head and food on their tables and, and the best you can do. But when it becomes a priority over not spending time with them, you need to change jobs. I wish I had changed years ago. But this is what I was telling God. Why did I choose this, the, my way of making a living? And he told me, he said, those choices is why you're here now with the family you have. So two of my daughters are here today. And I can't go back to that time, but I can take care of the time in the future. So if I call and talk, and when I hang up, you say, I wonder what he wanted. <laughs> I just wanted to hear your voice and to know you're okay, because that means a lot to me. And not only my daughters, but my granddaughters, <laughs> and grandsons, and all of them. Don't be so focused on making a living that you don't make a life. I can't go back and get those fishing trips I didn't go on or those times I didn't spend time with you. I can't do that. But I can make sure I don't not do it in the future. That's how much I love you. And I'm sure all of you can relate to that. If you're young and got young kids, spend that time with them. They don't, <clears throat> they need things, and they'll tell you they want things. But the one thing they need the most is your time. Right. Your time is well spent when you spend it with your family. Don't miss an opportunity. And if you don't know what it feels like, I think all of us need a Winnie the Pooh. And it might be that conscience that speaks to us tells us you need to do this, you need to do that. You don't need to focus on this. You need to focus on that. You need to focus on the things that are important because this is the day the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for the seed you planted in us. And I ask you to, to water those seeds and cause them to grow and to bring forth much fruit of the things that are really important in life. And that's a relationship with you of loving God and a relationship with family and people, loving people. That's the two most important things. And if we do that, we've covered all of your commandments. And I just ask you to, to minister to each one of us right now that we will be in the place you want us to be, that you can guide our steps and we can be the person you created us to be. And I give you all the praise and glory for every in Jesus' name. Amen. If you've got a need, you want someone to agree with you in prayer, be coming, because there'd be somebody here that would just love to pray for you, pray with you, and, and see that your needs are met. So be coming.
pass and whatever lies before me let me be singing when the important the pain you're going through or that you'll worship his holy name what's what's more important worship his holy name we all go through we all go through a lot of stuff right come on now don't don't crick at me right now don't give me that we all go through a lot don't we don't you go through life does life is life fun all the time what do you do with it? Do you worship? Or do you hide? Y'all can cross your arms and stare at me all you want to. You know I'm right. Worship. Worship. There isn't anything else that will fix life for you. <laughs> or me. <laughs> Worship his holy name. Worship his holy name. Thank you for putting your hands up. Worship his holy name. Because there is power in the name. And all you have to do is worship it. That's it. Believe and worship it. That's, that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. 
you gonna do? Not entirely sure I'm done yet. Give me a second. Yeah, I'm done. Worship. Worship. I mean, that's the answer. I, I'm trying to come up with, like, there's some more words, but there's not. It's just, just worship. When you, when you go through the fire, worship. When you go through the good, worship. Getting started. The God on the mountain is still the God in the valley. The God of the bad times is still the God of the good times. He's God all the time. We just have to make sure we call on Him all the time. Anybody can praise God when everything is rosy in their life. But when you can praise Him all the time, when you're going through bad things and bad things happen to good people God set this world in motion and it turns and it goes around and it turns and you might be in a storm but the storm only lasts for a little while and then the skies are much clearer and brighter after the storm because your eyes have been opened to lots of things don't miss a time just to worship God. Don't focus on the situation because focus on the one that can smooth the seas that says peace be still and the storm stops. He will not always do it the way we want it but he will always do it the best way. Don't forget that. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for each one here. I thank you that you've planted seeds in all of us that will bring forth much fruit. And I just ask you now to cause that to come about. And Lord, we lift up that storm that's coming into the uh, Florida and Georgia and South Carolina, and I ask you to turn it to the sea. Let it go out and just, just blow over the waters where there's no one in danger. I ask you to put your protection around of each person in that storm's path that you will say peace be still to that storm and it will just go out to sea and calm and Lord I praise you and thank you for this and I thank you for each one here and I ask for your angels to be around them and minister to them 24-7 and we give you the praise for everything in Jesus name Amen see you next time